During the hunt, this boy accidentally finds a glowing blue stone. He brings it to the town and asks for its information. When the residents hear about its origin, they are all having fear on their faces. They also tell him to stay away from it. However, he still takes the stone home. Not long ago, the stone starts budging. It is actually an egg. Then a dragon having a small head and wings comes out of the egg. When he almost touches it, there is an electric current making him faint. A few decades ago, this country was so beautiful and peaceful. People were protected by the dragon riders. After thousands of years in peace, the dragon riders had become tempered. They started a war and kept slaughtering each other. Finally, only one rider survived. He became the king of the country. Afterwards, he led the soldiers to launch another war. He killed all the enemies who were against him. The rebel freedom fighters refused to surrender, they hid in a mountain cave. Days ago, a woman named Arya stole a dragon egg from the king's castle. He ordered a witch to arrest her and bring back the stolen egg. He did not want his position to be threatened by any other thing. Arya was stuck in a sea of fire. Having no choice, Arya lifted the eggs up with her hands. Then, she used magic to teleport the egg to another place. While Aragon was hunting, a blue light sparkled in front of him. Arya was arrested and Aragon inadvertently got the dragon egg. Aragon wakes up and finds a sign on his palm. That is the sign of a dragon rider in the midst. Aragon loves his dragon, he decides to raise it up. But the dragon grows up with a pace that is beyond his imagination. It rapidly becomes a full-size dragon. It can also communicate with Aragon through their thoughts. It turns out that Aragon is its meant-to-be dragon rider. The king knows this, he sends the soldier to find and kill Aragon before he can be stronger. That night, Aragon hears a strange sound in a house on the town. He walks to the window, looks through a gap and sees a monster looking for his information. Accidentally, the monster turns its head toward Aragon. He is almost discovered. Having a bad feeling, Aragon quickly comes home, but it is too late. His uncle lying on the ground is dead. The dragon Sapphira comforts him, but he blames his uncle's deaths on it and tells it to get away. In this moment, a man named Brum comes to Aragon. Without saying a word, he burns the dead man's body. Then, he takes Aragon to the wood. He teaches him how to summon a dragon and live peacefully with it. He also tells Aragon that the king will not stop chasing to kill him. The only way to keep him and Sapphira safe is to find the rebel fighters hiding in the mountain. On the journey, they are attacked, Aragon accidentally awakes his dragon rider's soul. Aragon and Sapphira gradually becomes closer. Their powers are also getting stronger and stronger. They used to flee but now, they are not afraid to fight against their enemies. The witch is extremely angry because he has failed time after time. He eventually has a plan, he uses the magic to control Arya. Arya then appears in Aragon's dream, she pleads with him to come and save her life. Aragon wakes up, he packs the stuffs up and comes back to save Arya with his dragon. Although he knows it is a trap, he bravely flies into the witch's location regardless of all the dangers. Indeed, he is surrounded upon arrival. When Aragon is almost killed, Brum shows up and saves him from the sword. Aragon vengefully shoots an arrow into his head. The witch disappears and Arya wakes up. They all escape but Brom is seriously injured. Aragon deeply regrets. Sapphira helps Brom to fulfill his last will. It let him sit on its back and ride it for the last time. Finally, they buried Brom. Aragon takes possession of Brom's sword and spirit. He starts to gather the rebel fighters. Now it is time to overthrow the king's brutal rule. On the way to the mountain, they see a mysterious man. That person then brings them to the rebel fighters station. The arrival of Sapphira is their new hope to win the battle. They rapidly plan to defeat the king. The king hears the news, he is happy nevertheless. He thanks Aragon for helping him find the fighter's location that he has been looking for a long time. Now he can gather his soldier and easily capture both dragon rider and rebel fighters. He orders the witch to assemble all the soldiers and prepare for his biggest plan to catch all of them. A great war is about to come. The rebels give Aragon a long-preserved dragon rider armor. In this time, the soldiers are close to the cave. They are destroying the wall and getting inside. Aragon and Sapphira support each other, they are carrying the hope of everyone on their shoulders. Aragon rises Brahm's sword and Sapphira lights it up by its fire. Aragon and Sapphira are fighting so hard, but the number of enemy troops is too overwhelming, they cannot defeat all. Meanwhile, the witch is watching with anger. He summons a black dragon from the fire, he quickly rides it to destroy the dragon rider. All Aragon's attacks cannot hit him. This magical creature makes Aragon scared. The black dragon is like a shadow, it is not injured. They try attacking from above but it is also not effective. That creature seems to have no weaknesses. Even the dragon fire cannot cause a damage. During the fight, Sapphira is bit by the black dragon. It is painfully moaning because of bad injuries, its vision slowly disappears. This is their last chance. Sapphira uses its body to cover for Aragon from the witch's fire. It then uses its tail to lift Aragon up helping him to stab in the heart of the witch with his sword. Aragon eventually finishes his sinful life. Aragon is falling, but Sapphira uses its last power to support him, and hits the ground so hard. Its breath is now very weak, it may not survive. 
Aragon risks his life saving Sapphira, the dragon signs on his palm sparkles, Aragon is looking at Sapphira, he uses magic to heal it, and once again passes out from the strain. The following morning, Aragon awakes finding Sapphira, is also alive in a magical way. From now, Aragon becomes a true dragon rider. However, the king's revenger is not over. Moreover, he used to be the most powerful dragon rider in the history. Click like and follow to see the next part of this special movie.